Hey badminton friends, today it's time for another footwork workout and we are going to work on fast footwork, so quick feet. For example, we need that when we make a split step and then have to adjust the direction, turn the feet very quickly, so an important thing for us. And everything you need is just some uh, badminton shoes, a little bit of space around you, but you can see you can do it at home, but as well also before a practice session in the hall. Um, yeah, enough of the words, let's get started with our fast footwork session. Okay, before we dive into the main part, we just want to do a quick warm up for our feet and um, also for our legs, so we're not getting injured and we are ready for the exercises. And we start off by just circling our ankles and Start with one foot, same direction, and now other direction, the other way around. Now the other one. Make huge circles. And also here the other way around. Okay, good. Now, next up, stand on one leg and then you go outwards with one leg, but try to give maximum tension here in your glute. So this, this leg here is stretched out and now you lift it outwards, but try to make it as hard as you can here. So you should feel a lot of tension in your right glute if you're using the right leg. Work slowly. The other leg is a little bit bent. Okay, change sides. Also here, some glute activation. And one more thing, we also go backwards with the leg. Again, maximum tension here in the abs and also stay stable here in your core, so you don't want to fall back when you go backwards with your leg. No movement in the upper body, only a small movement backwards here. All right, and the other way, and the other side as well. Okay, good. Now go onto your tip of on, onto the tip of your toes and go slowly down, quick up, slowly down. Knees always slightly bent. Okay, and now we go up and only go down with one leg. So raise one leg and go slowly down, always one time right, one time left. Also a little bit about balance. One more time. Okay, and a few jumps. Now we're jumping right left, always from the right leg to the left leg. Land, stabilize and go back. Don't have to jump super high. Just give a little bit of height into that jump. And try to land stable as fast as you can or get stable as fast as you can. Okay, good. So we dive into the exercises and we are always going to do 10 seconds slow, then we're going to do 10 seconds really fast and then we have a break and we do every exercise three times. So I'm always slow, fast, break and after three times we go to the next exercise. I always show you before what we're going to do. First thing, very easy, just have a stance like this, so like shoulder width and then you go out and in, so kind of a split step movement. 10 seconds slow, you can always stay on the 
um, on the top of your feet. The heels are not touching the ground. And then after 10 seconds, you go down. That's like for all the exercises, you go down a little bit more and do it maximum speed. Okay? So get ready, prepare for the first round. We are going to start in around five seconds. So Two, start like this. One. And slow. Let's go. Ten seconds. Get ready to get lower. Two. One. Fast. Speed. Three. Two. One. Rest. 20 seconds break and then we go round number two once again same exercise three two one and slow go. start out slow again three two one Time. Always keep pushing until the end. So last two, three seconds usually get a little bit hard, but try to keep the tempo during the full 10 seconds. Okay, so we go one more time. Three, two, one, and slow. Go. Start slow and relaxed. A little bit higher up with your center of gravity. Three, two, one, fast. Three, two, one, break. Okay, good. Good job. Short break, and then we're going to exercise number two. It looks like this. We always turn our hip. So we go from one diagonal into the other. For example, we were covering front right, and then there comes the lift. We need a quick turn of the hip. So this is what we're going Three, to work on now. Two. Ten one. seconds slow. Slow. Three, two, one. Fast. Three, two, one. Rest. Okay. Two more times. Maximum speed. Three. Okay. Two. One. Get ready. Slow. Jump. Next jump on the front foot. Three. Two. One. And get ready. Yeah. Three. Two. One. Rest. Okay. More times. Two. 
three, two, one. And slow. Let's go. Three, two, one. Fast. Three, two, one. Rest. One more time. Three, two, one. And slow. Let's go. Three, two, one. Fast. Three, two, one. Break. Good. Half time. I'm going to make a little bit longer break. So maybe get something to drink and then we dive into the second half. Maybe a quick reminder, um, on Instagram I'm posting weekly session plans. So if you know, want to know when to do this workout for example or in what combination with other workouts maybe then check out my Instagram I'm posting weekly session plans and also if you like this video so far Maybe take the break or use the break and give it a thumbs up and then we get ready to start in 20 seconds again. So the next exercise will be like, imagine there are two lines. We did this one in the beginning, now we want to step over and in. So not with both feet at the same time, but right, left, right, left. Okay? Three. Two. Start. One. Slow. Slow. Only on the front foot. Three. Two. One. Fast. Three. Two. One. Rest. Okay. So it's a lot of coordination in it now. Again, stay low when you do the quick steps and five seconds three Get two ready. one slow slowly three two one fast Super good exercise if you want to adjust the position, for example, if there comes a smash, or if you expect a smash, and then suddenly you want to start to the front court. Really helpful if you are quick there with Three, pulling the foot in. Two, one, let's go. Last time. Find your rhythm. Three, two, one. Two more rounds to go. We do a little bit the same, but now not to the side, but forward and backward. So again, imagine there is a line. Maybe you have a line in the hall, it's very easy. Step over it and go back. So one foot goes forward, the other one follows. Again, first round slowly, get the rhythm, and then 10 Three, seconds full two, speed. One, okay. slow. Still stay on the front foot. Three, two, Get ready. one, fast. Three, two, one, rest. This exercise should be really noisy. So if you have a very loud sound here with going forward, then you're doing it perfectly fine in the first 10 seconds. So, you have two three, more rounds of that two, exercise. One, slow. 
go. Even in this moment. Three, two, one. One more time. Maybe you always went forward with the same leg, so now change the direction. Now the other leg starts to go forward and backward for the last round. Five seconds. Three, Get ready. Two, one, slow. Three, two, one, fast. Okay, good. One more round to go. And this time we start in the position like the first exercise and then we jump out again. But this time diagonal, back again, and then the other diagonal. So it goes like this. Always turn the hip a little bit so it's not like this, but like this. Three, okay. two, one. Slow round. Slow. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. more times. Do it just as fast as you can with a good rhythm so without losing a good pattern here with the foot with the feet. Get ready. Three, two, Second last round. one, slow. Now keep the tempo until the last second. Stay low here. And then we're finished. Three, two, one. And slow. Go. Find a good rhythm. Three, two, and one. That's all you have. Awesome. Whew. Thank you so much for joining. If you're looking for more live workouts like this one here, um, I will link all the relevant videos in the description below. And also check out my YouTube channel for more uh, tutorials about footwork or about racket skills. And as I mentioned, um, also check out my Instagram channel if you're looking for weekly session plans. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And then I'm looking forward to see you in one of my next videos. Have a good one. Bye bye.